Hey everyone, it's Rob here, and we've got some updates on quite a number of things today. So we got the Grimsvot potential eruption. You can see here the live stream that I got going on on the tremor chart, as well as the height change of the ice. In addition to this, we also have an update on Hecla, and there's a little bit of news on that, and everyone's favorite fact was fact, but we're going to start with Grimsvot first of all. Now, just very, very recently, you know, we're watching this live here. It has now dropped to over 50 meters from the height that it was uh, once before. If we take a look at the video I had posted yesterday, that was only, well, I say only, but it was a drop of 31 meters. And now, 24 hours later, we have gone to 50 meters. So it looks like we're getting around 20 meter drop every day now. And my guess is 24 hours from now, it's going to be an even bigger uh, drop than just the 20 meters over that 24 hour period. So this is very interesting. You can see here as well, the tremor measurements are, you know, we see the purple is going a little bit crazy now. And then the blue and the green colors are kind of continuing in this upward trend. Now, because of this, there has been some information on earthquakes in the area. Now, as we're, as we're looking at this, we can see here based on the chart that we know that, you know, the green color, the, the green stars are a magnitude of over three and there haven't been any of those as of yet. Um, but I will say that it has come to the attention of the scientists that there are more earthquakes than they have seen over the past little while. And there's rising turmoil on the turbulence meters as we just saw, uh, which could be because of the ice and, and, and other things like that, but they're keeping a close eye on this just because the earthquakes have increased in the area. And they're saying that it's a little bit more activity than, you know, your regular basic activity. And of course they're going to monitor it very closely, but they do not see any signs of eruption as things stand right now. So just something to keep an eye on. Some of the earthquakes are picking up, but it's not extremely, uh, out of the ordinary as of yet and we will definitely see how this progresses taking a look at some of the images of here we go of the water from today so this is a lot of the stuff is from Vizier and they're fabulous photographers so we'll go through a quick check out the article that they have and you can see the water that has uh, been part of that yoko plate flooding out of the area uh, and here is an aerial shot of that as well so the next thing i want to sort of take a look at is there there was some people saying that they had seen some smoke rising up from Fagersfeld. Now, I've I've gone there a bunch of times. You can see here's a few pictures, and uh, I haven't seen any smoke. I mean, I haven't gone back to this eruption area at Fagersfeld for quite some time now, ever since it kind of stopped. But um, I will say that. It wouldn't be surprising to me if it kind of picked back up. It seems very uh, active in, in a way or another. Now, that's just me. You know, all the scientists here, they have said that it's kind of officially over. And um, don't walk on the lava field still because it, it does take quite some time for it to cool down. You can still see if you're watching any of the webcams. I have a live stream of the webcam uh, courtesy from uh, Ruve on that one. And they, they show... The situation you can still see there is steam so it's it's still a dangerous area but they are saying and by they i mean the scientists that uh, they don't think that it's going to change and they think it's kind of settled down now which is uh, possibly why we are now looking over at grimsbot you know this could be the next the next big one that uh, that happens one other thing though is uh, out of left field we have hecla which is totally just just randomly popped up and what's happened with this is they say that water has disappeared from the springs and fissures in, in Ragnar Botnar and it's supposed to happen but it's attracting attention now in light of the seismic activity that's increasing in this area over the past little while and what they're saying is this water that's disappeared actually is typical before an eruption and and this happened the water reservoirs and the drought happened back in Hecla's eruption of 1947 
And so there's a Pat uh, Ilmensland is a geologist, and he's drawn attention to this connection. He says it's long been clear that Hecla is almost ready to erupt at any moment. And uh, we did have a magnitude of 5.2 earthquake that uh, shook Vatnafurt south of Hecla on November 11th, so, you know, fairly recently. And uh, although they're not saying that technically this earthquake is linking to some eruption that might happen in you know the near future what they did say is Hecla doesn't give any advance notice really that it's going to erupt and some people are saying that it gives like a 15 minute notice so that's the dangerous part of this and we know that it's it's kind of ready to go but it's something that I did want to point out and um, yeah it's it's kind of like a maybe we'll get uh, instead of a two for one it's kind of a three for one for eruptions in you know 12 month time frame something like that so uh yeah there's a lot going on a lot to sort of keep an eye on we got hecla we got grimsvat and we got some reports of uh more activity at fragrosfeld even though uh i you know i don't think that anything's happening quite at this moment but we do know that there had been uh some magma movement and some earthquakes uh, in near the Fagrafeld area. So we got earthquakes going on at Grimsvat, we got earthquakes going on at Hecla, and we got Fagrafeld. So we got three different areas that are now, you know, in my opinion, now under watch. Of course, Grimsvat number one, that's probably the closest one to erupting, and then Hecla, who knows, that thing goes off at any moment, and then Fagrafeld, which we all know and love. So very interesting times. It's going to be a uh, I think a, a whirlwind of next uh, well next week or so for Grimsvat, and then who knows on Hecla. Hecla is more dangerous, so we're hoping that that one kind of uh, stays calm. But nature will do what it wants to do. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this informative. And uh, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff. Check out the, again, I say this all the time, but there's uh, more and more people here. Check out the live stream that we got of the tremor and height change. We got a really great community going on here. You can see there's you know 90 people here right now watching it. And uh, yeah, take a look, get, in, get involved in the conversation and don't be afraid to ask questions because everyone there is fantastic. So until next time, thank you so much.